What is up everybody, Stokeflex is here, coming at you again with a slightly, slightly different video than usual as you'll see in the, well, what you're looking at right now. And what are we looking at is something pretty cool, although some people will be kind of disappointed all, all at the same time. So, um, VK.com, which is basically the, the Russian Facebook, and on the Russian Facebook, there is also a World Thanks page, as you can see, quite, uh, quite popular. But they actually uh, teased the new um, Super Conqueror, the tier 10 heavy tank for the for for Britain. Uh, as you can see, that model is still really early. It looks uh, quite cool already. It's literally a souped-up Conqueror, the Super Conqueror. It just gets some added armor and stuff like that. Um, it actually looks really, 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 really cool already. If you take a look, what's the best photo? This is probably it. Um, and why is this important? Well, uh, first off. You probably, you guys probably want to know what's coming up in the new, uh, the next patches. This is not going to be 9.20, but maybe 21, because there are a lot of British, British changes coming. There's TD changes coming soon. We don't know when, but maybe, uh, I don't, maybe 9.21 will be the British patch. And the Super Conqueror is looking pretty damn cool. Now, the stats actually are not super impressive. Um, if we take a look here. Uh, on the daily bounce, um, he wrote down the, all the statistics already, and I'm not going to go through everything right now because it's still subject to change, and yes, these things will still change. Super tests usually means that they, they are actually still tuning it, unlike, unlike uh, for example, the, the test server. Uh, it does look like it, it loses some uh, power to weight because of all the armor. Um, and speaking of the armor, it's pretty cool because it's getting uh, space armor on top of the turret and also and this is hard to tell from the initial pictures you see here is that it has space armor on the hull the upper hull as well which means that it will be really good uh, at, at you know fighting the the heat spam of like the russian mediums and stuff like that so you'll, you'll have these like you know these you know space armor things here then a lot of space between that and the armor and then you know you have the, the good conqueror turret behind that as well so overall, it looks really, really dope. Now, I know what you're saying. Where the fuck is the Chieftain? And the Chieftain has actually been in the game files for quite a while. There's actually two different variations that, you know, look uh, slightly different. Um, there's the T95 Chieftain and the Chieftain Mark VI. And honestly, I hope they will still come out in maybe a different heavy tank line. That would be dope. I'm not quite sure, because, like, the console has, I think, the Mark VI. <clears throat> and on the Chinese server, you can buy it for like 600 USD or something like that. Keep in mind, the, US, the Chinese server is not being run by Wargaming. <clears throat> it's a different company altogether. Uh, now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is not only to show you guys what, what's coming up in the future, uh, which I think is still pretty cool, and I hope, you know, that the Chieftain will also make its way to World of Tanks PC in some capacity. Um, but the rumor is, uh, I don't think it's been confirmed yet, but the FV215B is going to get the Fosh 155 treatment, where it's going to be a reward tank, but if you already have it, you'll keep that, and you get the new shiny Super Conqueror. So you might want to start grinding now, because I know a lot of people don't play World Tanks as much as I do, and if you can let a little bit of an early head start, unlike, say, with the Fosh, I feel like the Fosh news was kind of uh, late, for a lot of new people, and I'm looking out for you guys, you know? And not everybody plays this game as religiously as, mo as people around me, or myself, that have like a fucking billion free XP and have most, if not all, tier 10 tanks already. So if you're looking to maybe get this tank, and if you're looking to maybe, you know, get the Super Conqueror, and the Conqueror tier 9 is actually one of my favorite tanks. I free marked it before the turret buffs and everything, and it's still rocked. Um... So you might want to start grinding for that already. Um, I don't, I don't think I've seen an official confirmment yet for the fact that it will be the, getting the Fox Five treatment, but you can almost bet your ass that it will. Uh, the other reason I'm making this video is again because of all the people that are more casual playing this game, which is going to be most of you guys, which is absolutely fine, of course. Is that there is a September top of the tree on EU right now? I'm not sure about NA, where you can uh, cast your vote. For the top of the tree special for September, um, and the let's see, the FE two hundred fifteen B is up there. 
So it might be quite a while before the sub Super Conqueror hits life. It might be quite a while before it gets replaced and stuff like that. But if in September you get a top of the tree special where you make all the, the British heavies uh, cheaper um, to buy and stuff like that, it will help a lot of people, um, you know, grind towards that new shiny tank. Um, so it might be wise to, to vote for the uh, FE215B, although I get a lot of people that vote for the 5A because that's the new kid on the block. So that might win. I have no fucking clue why people are voting on the mouse, though. Like, absolutely, absolutely no idea. Let me bring, bring it into focus a little bit better here. It was cut off. But a lot of people voting for the mouse and the e Like, the 5A is not a bad choice either because a lot of people want to do tank. But I'm just saying, if you want to, if you guys want to, you know, you got to need a lot of votes, but there's probably a lot of people watching the video. Uh, you might want to vote for that, because that will, might be a really nice thing to do. Because in September, or right after September, the new Super Conqueror might be out. I don't know. Anyway, um, I never usually make this kind of content. But I think it's kind of interesting, and hopefully it might help some people out. It might make you, uh, you guys decide on what to grind, maybe. Uh, one last thing, actually, that I totally blanked out on, is that they're also buffing in the same patch as the Super Conqueror is going to come out. And we still still don't know when is that the caravan is finally getting buffed it's basically getting its old turret back by the looks of things with better armor and it's also getting a 32 pound caliber top gun at tier 8 which is really really good so the hull is still going to be paper which is fine the turret is going to be good and it's going to get an actual meaty gun instead of the low alpha stuff and here you can see the super conquer as well uh which will be a very good tank uh, whilst if you can hide the lower plate, because you can fend off heat shells really, really well. Uh, the top of the roof might still be an issue on these, but for the most part, I want it. I want it so bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, that should be really good. I'm looking forward to the Super Conqueror. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed. It's like, oh my god, where's the Chieftain? And I feel you, but hopefully we can get it alongside... The Super Conqueror, because the Super Conqueror is an actual concept, I think at least uh, also existed. So it's not a totally made up tank like a Type 4 Heavy or something like that. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, I usually don't really make content like this uh, at all, really. But, um, so it's kind of like an experiment, uh, I guess you could say. If you do like this kind of thing and you do like getting some kind of like new support or ish, on something like this, do let me know in the comment section below. If you don't like it, also let me know. I'm really looking for feedback here. Uh, I know it's a bit rough, you know, uh, a rough cut, but uh, yeah, really curious about your input. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, if you did and you're new here, maybe subscribe, check some uh, more of my videos out. I have a lot of stream highlights, uh, replay reviews, stuff like that. And maybe if you guys like it, I'll have more of these kind of like new segment things coming up. Uh, as always, thanks so much for the support. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.